We finally have the actual date revealed of the blog this week for Roadmap 2.0. A 343 employee promises big things on the way to a big TAM streamer, as well as some fake light information, but I think the content within the fake might actually be real. Forge canvases and a forger gets put under NDA. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So in a reply to Sean W, fellow Halo YouTuber and friend of the channel here, saying Halo community right now waiting to hear Halo Infinite co-op delayed, and then Sketch himself actually replied to the saying, targets are the stakes in the ground at the time, but of course, subject to change. We'll have a roadmap update tomorrow on what to expect with Infinite in the months ahead. But when I hear this, I am absolutely thinking that there's going to be one, a delay when it comes to co-op for how long not totally sure my expectation is that it might get delayed to just the release of season three as right now like there are yeah we have the event for the yapping that was just announced it's coming on tuesday for september 6th but i mean i'd much rather just see them wait until they actually get to release in a good state co-op in my mind was in a good state yeah there were some bugs here and there but nothing that would make me stop playing so it's gonna be interesting to see what they're waiting on though i think this also ties into possible delay of forge as well for that open beta testing that we're, we're planning to have uh, sometime in september according to the original roadmap which is crazy to think that forge could get a delay as we've seen amazing content come from people who've gotten to the leaked build of the flights Though to instill a little bit of hopium, I'm sure we'll get some information or some quick little snippets of what we could expect for content for Season 3 when it comes to maps and modes. More on those maps and modes a little bit later in this video. One of the big name content creators and streamers, Courage, who we've covered previously on the channel, talking about how much he loves Halo but never plays it, but also wanted a battle royale, talked about it on Twitter last night, talking about it saying, sitting here just thinking about Halo Infinite, the gameplay is really fun, but there's nothing, just nothing, instead it hurts to see how like uh, the mismanaged the game is right now. Then head of 343 at uh, the competitive side of things, of esports side, Tashi said, stay tuned, big stuff on the way, which gets me a little bit of hopium, but kind of gives me that same feeling from like the Avengers, right? When Hawkeye is just like, don't give me hope. That's like, kind of how I feel right now. And also replied to him as well saying like sorry for the tweet being mean but like hey i'm just like i'm a fan and i'm just kind of sad with right things are right now and then tasha did continue on with the conversation saying yeah i get you and i believe me this whole studio wants more too i'm super bullish on this game and franchise i think forge is going to change the game forever more maps modes weapons equipment coming we are sharing more real soon lots to be excited for we got to deliver which is also great to see but again like this is all kind of stuff we knew that was coming with season three with new maps modes weapons and equipment so nothing too crazy there unless there's some kind of new crazy thing happening i don't know if i would really say big stuff on the way obviously forge coming to halo is a big thing yes but is it like big stuff when you're talking to like Courage JD who did streams like Battle Royale, Call of Duty like all the time. Makes you think of Tatanka possibly coming out this fall, which I doubt since we didn't see Tatanka at all when it comes to the Xbox Bethesda showcase back in June. That would be something they would definitely highlight a Battle Royale coming to Halo. So I think this big stuff he's talking about are just like your stuff you would kind of expect that we know is happening with Season 3 when it comes to the new maps, modes, equipment, weapons, and things like that. Talking about that new stuff for Season 3, it looks like a leak has happened where it says that there's going to be a September flight overview as in like a flight for like this weekend that's gonna be testing out apparently new arena maps the new BTB map VIP escalation which is like you know the gun game mode doesn't have the new bandit rifle new equipment that's like the shroud screen and it says that the play dates are all Friday Saturday Sunday like September 2nd through 2nd through the 4th which is like crazy to think about but I highly doubt that this is a actual leak as if we're going to push the flying process for people to jump in and play, you know 343 would have been pressing people to join in and be ready to set their time for the weekend like weeks in advance. Though the interesting thing about this leak in particular, we go back to the screen here to showcase what I'm talking about, I think the content that's being talked about within this is actually accurate. As we've seen leaks about VIP and VIP mogul, we've seen leaks about the B2B map being exiled for season three. We've seen leaks for Ridgeline when it comes to Arena and stuff like that, and Escalation Slayer for a free for all team, as well as Bandit Tactical Slayer, as it being SWAT with the, with the DMR in the game, which is gonna be kind of interesting. But again, like, so that's what I'm saying, like this leak itself I'm saying is fake, 
but I'm saying also that the stuff that's in this leak is most likely accurate. We covered these leaks actually previously on the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, this uh, great way to stay updated by subscribing, but this was leaked out previously that there were gonna be certain kind of maps coming into Halo Infinite. One of those being Solitude and Cataract, which are those two season three Forge maps that you saw guys that have recently leaked out. And Exiled was mentioned in here as well, which could be a remake of Exile from Halo 4. But of course, once we get some concrete information about this leak, I'll definitely share with you guys. Uh, I'm assuming we'll probably get something tied a little, maybe a little bit with this when it comes to the blog update for Thursday. So make sure you subscribe to know when that does go up. Talking about more leaks and information, looks like we have some Forge canvases that were recently just leaked out as well, guys. We got a lot of information about Forge within this video here. This is gonna be C floor for a canvas right here. Next one is gonna be called arid which you can kind of guess why that is <laughs> we're just looking at this which does look amazing we also have the ecliptic if i pronounce that correctly i think it's kind of a playoff look of eclipse but kind of like a space atmosphere to the whole thing then we also have mar which is kind of like a you know wetland kind of environment that we had for like the campaign but this time in forge we also have another one just called void which is just kind of just open space so that's another great thing too so more blank canvases for people to play around with i actually ran a poll on my channel with this previously i recently asked you guys here on youtube on my community page my cash these polls when they do go live make sure you tap subscribe but it was credit kind of interesting saying that 78 percent of you guys said you like forge world more than blank canvases so when i asked the halo community on twitter it was kind of more 50 50 a little bit leaning more towards blank canvases which is kind of interesting a little bit of information for you personally i would like to have blank canvases just because you get a full control of what the map looks like though having like a map like forge world of pre-made sets like that just kind of something you can just start building on top of and play off of it and talking about forge it looks like a person who was forging while on stream for the map guardian which we covered previously on the channel guys if you missed that check it out uh he got nda'd midstream by unishek um guys i just got a twitter message from unishek a dm he wants to talk halo stuff but i told you guys if this was gonna happen uh, i'd most likely have to go under uh, nda if you guys don't know what an nda is it's a non-disclosure agreement meaning the stuff he tells me i would not be able to tell anybody nda'd out of his mind now did he himself get nda to basically like stop forging i don't think that it, what it is i think what's going on with unique is that he's probably getting brought in to like be doing some forge testing so he's been doing some amazing work when it comes to make, recreating lockout and recreating guardian in halo infinite's forge and we've had little some rumors from joseph stain that some classic maps might return back to halo infinite why don't you just bring back the the maps from the old games and put them into Halo Infinite? And that could kind of be a buffer while we have this extended season. Can you kind of explain why you can or cannot do that with just a, the flip of a switch? That's a good idea, Paris. <laughs> oh. I mean, all, all, all kidding aside, like yeah. uh, I, I can talk about some things, but I can't talk about it. Right. Like there are some great Halo maps. Um, I think we all have our personal favorite. Guardian, Gulch, Pit. Like, there are a lot of maps that are awesome, right? I think it'd be awesome to play on those maps again. Don't don't you guys? Like, that sounds like a fun thing. I, I, I think it would be a fantastic yeah. thing. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll mark that in my... Yeah. I'll mark that in my oh, little, okay. I'm taking my full credit for it if, if it happens. How about that? <laughs> And since Unique was doing such a great job creating these classic maps, could he be brought in to maybe help make those maps for when the Forge does actually launch and, and maybe put some Forge maps into matchmaking? I mean, we could see what happens with that. We'll definitely follow up with that story. If you want to know more about the new event coming Tuesday, the Yappening, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Great, I appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.